Hello again, YouTube. My name is Alice. These are the Nightbird Vlogs, and we are here today in Star Trek Online. And for Kiss and Girls, I think I'll go with, yeah, TOS Starfleet. And a Vulcan, why not? Of course, science. And now we get the fun of setting everything up. I have to go advance when I do this. <laughs> Why not? I kind of like these. Yeah. These will work. <laughs> yeah, let's go with space color. It's pretty much acceptable. I feel like she's way too tall, though. He usually not you really tall. Really tall. Yeah, 5'11". Way too tall. There we go. This of these, that's the best one, so, yeah. Uniform. And I'm dressed uniform. That's just weird looking. I don't like the stripy things over there. But the base uniform. I'm gonna go to red. Why? Why did you turn red? I don't like the skirt thing. I just, it's just stupid. It's just stupid. Apparently I gotta use it though, so whatever. Works. Why does the hair look like it's blue though? Because it kind of is a little bit. There. Looking right at it. Okay, there it is. The whole thing going on. I don't know about it. <laughs> the mama. The rat. The pillow. Why not? Go. Because, yeah, in honor of. And away we go. Well, yeah, I'd like to play the tutorial. Captain's Log, Stardate 6147.4. We're orbiting planet Taurus 2 in the Murasaki 312 Nebula. Our orders? 
investigate the disappearance of a science vessel in this area. Search and rescue operations are about to commence. People you can interact with have icons above their heads. I've played this before, I don't care. Oh my gosh! Look at it. Lieutenant, we've located the wreckage of a crashed ship down there. I need to get boots on the ground, find out what's going on. Take a landing party down to the surface. Assess the situation and look for survivors. Not so fast. We can't use the transporters due to atmospheric interference. You'll need to take a shuttlecraft down. Use the sensors to locate a safe landing site. find a suitable landing area? Excellent. I've assigned Ensign Mears to your landing party. She's been to Taurus 2 before. Anybody know about Taurus 2? I know about Taurus 2. Do you know about Taurus 2? Ensign Tarsi, reporting for duty. The captain, let's see. M-class planet, barely. The Taurians are big, primitive, and quick to anger. I'd keep my phaser handy if I were you. Speaking of which, if you want to follow me to the armory, we can make sure your phaser is properly calibrated. So lead the way. Thank you. Why are you running? I'm back here. Don't you run from me! Hey, wait, why was that guy in a dress uniform? No, oh, whatever. Good job, Lieutenant. That should be enough, unless you want more practice. How are you just gonna leave me? Come back here. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Just run already. <sighs> Get out of my way, people. Oh. Let's see here. A little bit. Okay. Uh, Ensign Mears, reporting is ordered. I'm ready when you are. Though I can't say I'm happy to see Taurus 2 again. I was one of the so-called Galileo 7, a science team sent to study the Murasaki effect. Our shuttle crashed on Taurus 2. Not all of us made it back to the Enterprise alive. Thank you. You can see why I'm reluctant to return to such a place. I do, but you're the only one I'm bored with the whole experience. Your insight will be invaluable. I... Yes, of course you're right, Lieutenant. I am a Starfleet officer, and I will perform my duties. You can count on me. I never doubted it for a second. Where are you going? <laughs> Shall we? Shall we, Ensign? Shall we, though? Congratulations, Lieutenant. Congratulations, I managed to get into a shuttle? Question mark? So much nostalgia, OMG, OMG. just as grim as I remember it here. My skin is crawling. I can't help but feel like the creatures are out there, watching us, waiting to attack. Stay alert. We very well could be. Right. Okay. It appears the ship crashed somewhere north of here. There are two paths from here that lead to the crash site, and there may be survivors on both. I recommend you take Alpha Team along the northwestern path, and I'll take Beta to the northeast. We'll rendezvous at the main crash site. There's no way I would say this is Vulcan, but it sounds good. See you there. So 
sorry. Is my nerd showing? That's an ASL. That's an ASL right there. Is that a warp in your cell? Yep. They said so. Oh. Ew. Oh my god! So much nostalgia. Definitely Federation tech here. What's left of our shuttlecraft's coolant assembly, according to my tricorder. <clears throat> there might be a crash shuttle nearby. Let's have a look. There's your crashed shuttle. What's left of it, anyway? Look, someone's over there. I think they're hurt. Again, we should we should offer assistance. No, oh, up here. Okay. Yeesh. Okay. Lieutenant, you won't be able to get close enough to revive him while that thing's venting plasma. Those valves should shut down the vents, though. Agreed. Thank you. We 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 need to move. Those things they're out there. What things? Where? Oh, those things. Those are big things. Those are very big things indeed. Of course, the red shirt got a giant spear in the back. What do they feed these things? Ugh, never mind. Ah. I'm Dr. Phineas Grogan, part of a research team studying the Murasaki effect. Well, I was before the ship crashed. I was looking for supplies when that thing roared, got distracted, and, and then that plasma coil blew. Damn near killed me. You were lucky to be alive, Doctor. You're telling me. We should get those supplies back to camp. Dr. Mueller's probably worried sick about it by now. Agreed. I'll get them. Either way. What's this? An NPC that actually moves at the same speed I do? Say it isn't so. <laughs> does, 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 does Bethesda know they can do this? That they're allowed? And like... It's a thing that can happen. Am I glad to see you? We thought we were stranded here with those... those monsters. We'll have you out of here soon, sir. Those supplies you brought will come in handy while we wait. Just put them over there for now. You know, I think there's some old phaser rifles in there. Might come in handy against those creatures. Thank you. We will have a look. And this... There are rifles in that crate. We should show the survivors how to shoot them. I'll set up some targets while you get ready. Do we have time for a this? Phaser? I've never shot one of these before. Wait, you want me to shoot this? Why, yes. Yes, I do. The targets are ready, Lieutenant. Let the survivors start shooting and give them some pointers. Incredible. I get it. 
That gives me a lot more control. Wow, thanks. That feels a lot better. are attacking. I'm sure glad there's such terrible aim has has this terrible hand eye coordination. We need to get these people to safety, Lieutenant. The Torians will be back and in greater numbers. Agreed. You and Tarsi guard the pass, while I get the others into cover. What are you shooting at? Lieutenant, we've held them off so far because they're scared of our weapons. But I don't think that'll last much longer. We've got to fall back to the wreckage. I might have an idea. I hope it is a good one. Shut the doors! They're right behind us! Lies? Last time I was here, Scotty, uh, Commander Scott, electrified the hull of our shuttle. That drove the Torians off when they tried to break in. Think we can pull something like that off here? Perhaps, if there is enough charge left in the batteries. Lieutenant, it worked! Bless you, Scotty, wherever you are. I think we owe you a very nice bottle of scotch. Indeed. So, what happened out there? The Torians ambushed us. I managed to escape, but the others, they've been taken. We've got to do something, and fast! Get the survivors to the shuttle. Tarsi and I will rescue the hostages. I was thinking. We can use our tricorders to track residual heat signatures left by the Torians. Thermal and bird cramps. Good thinking. There's someone up there, okay. I love my plot armor.
close to the fire there, buddy. There, buddy. What the heck? Thanks for coming back for us, sir. We owe you one. Pretty sure those things were gonna have us for dinner. Not on my watch, Ensign. Fascinating. The Torians appear to be in a late Stone Age state of development. Now isn't the best time for an anthropology lecture, Skial. Why did I even need the thermal like, footprints? Giant freaking footprints. Why wouldn't it? Never mind. I'm using too much logic. But I mean, I am playing as a Vulcan, so like. Am I seeing things? Because those guys picking through the wreckage sure look like Klingons. Just what are but, the Klingons doing on Taurus too? But they don't, though. Let us find out. Very phasers, just in case they are not in the mood for questions. I guess they're not in the mood for questions. Looks like they're not in the mood for questions, Lieutenant. <laughs> I just said that. Nice. Hey, is that a Klingon pad? Bring it to me. I have some experience with diary Let's have a look. Captain Core, your plan has worked perfectly, sir. Many ships have fallen into our trap. We've snared a few merchant ships and a Starfleet science vessel so far. You'll be pleased to hear that we're picking up a Federation cruiser on long-range sensors. Constitution class. Time to hunt bigger game. Glory to the Empire! Looks like the Klingons are using both guile and brute force here, Lieutenant. A pretty potent combination. The captain's definitely gonna want to hear about this. Agreed. Oh, hi. Did not, and really appreciate if you did. Oh god. Let's get back to the shuttle before more of them show up. Ah, look, more of them. Every time. Every time I kneel. Crouch, whatever. We're ready to go when you are. Hope this thing's got enough fuel to get us back to the ship. That makes two of us. Are you ready to board the shuttle, Lieutenant? 
Congratulations, Lieutenant. Yay, I got more XP. Yay. Yay. Like, what were they saying was a constitution class? This is not a constitution class. We made it. Never thought I'd be so happy to see a shuttle bay. I admit I had my doubts in the beginning. Didn't think I'd hold it together down there. Every time I heard those things roar. But here I am. Thanks for believing in me. I'm going to turn with you, Watson. Thank you. Apparently we've been boarded, okay. Bridge to shuttle bay. Please respond. We have some uninvited guests, Lieutenant. We've been boarded. The Klingons have breached the hall on the engineering deck and blocked our access. Since I can't send security in, I need you to secure the deck. Aye, sir. Recommendations. Start with the engineering deck. We need to bring our plasma relays back online. After that, secure the armory and main engineering. We will handle it, sir. Tarsi, Mirrors, ready weapons and prepare to rebel borders. Without borders. I'm remembering an old Earth adage about leaping from frying pans into fires. Your orders, Lieutenant? Stay here with Tarsi to help the squad. I will take care of the labs. Plasma conduits. Get them running fast. Plasma conduits reinitialized. Auxiliary power restored. Now clear out that armor. Watch out! More Klingons! Secure engineering next, if you can. We've cleared the rest of the deck, Lieutenant. Well done. You and Tarsi hold here. I will clear our main engineering. Security monitor showed you secured the engineering section. The Klingons managed to knock out our sensors. We're flying blind up here. See what you can do to bring them online. On it, sir. Stand by. Sensors are back online. Let's see who's out there. I need you on the bridge, Lieutenant. Sir, incoming transmission. Well, why don't I just use all, man, all the stations? 
Where's our bitches? The Federation Starship, this is Captain Kor. Surrender if you must, but I'd rather you fight with honor. Well, it's some enemy over there for a second. Okay. Penny shot. Good work, Lieutenant. The Klingons will think twice before they try to board this ship again. Now take the helm. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Sensors are picking up Klingon power signatures in two nearby satellites. I'm thinking they're broadcasting the distress signals that lured in our ships. Bring us in close so we can scan them and find out. Aye, sir. Science report coming in now. The satellites are using a triaxillating signal. It's strong enough to cut through the interference and reach ships outside the nebula. Clever. Almost a shame we have to blow them up, isn't it? Aye, sir. It's a tragedy. Nice work. One down, one to go. Looks like this one is shielded, though. It should take so long because I can't go on full impulse. Hmm, yeah, level 3 apparently. Oh, my boy, then. See the figure. Can can you hear us? We're under attack by Klingon raiders. Our shields are buckling. Won't last long. Hold on, Captain. We are on the way. Eventually. Almost there. Full impulse now. Cool. I've made some modifications to our torpedo. See that? That's for you, Russ. Yeah. Um. Let's dark him for Klingon, by the way. Target shield has failed. 
Klingon ships detected on long range sensors, sir. Please. Acknowledge, Enterprise. En route to your position now. So, the cub comes to fight beside the wolf. And now you will die with him as well. Upon you and your lackey. Thank you for your assistance. Huh. Thank you for the update, Commander. Safe travels. Russell Camp out. Congratulations. Looks like we're done. Lieutenant. Starfleet Command wants us and Enterprise back for a debriefing on this mess. Helm set a course for Earth space dock. Warp Factor 3. That's no boon. Oh, wait, there's a man. Never mind. Captain Garrett wants to see you in his office, Lieutenant. But he says to feel free to mingle with the other officers first. I'd take him up on that if I were you. I mean, how often do you get the chance to meet the crew of the Enterprise? The best of the best. That they are, Tracy. That they are. It's been a pleasure working with you. I didn't enjoy going back to Taurus too, but we got the job done thanks to you. Starfleet First Officers must be my good luck charm. Captain Garrett has requested me for a new logistics position here at ESD. Might not be as glamorous as the Final Frontier, but I've accepted. Until next time, good luck out there. Same to you, Ensign. Take care. Oh my gosh, I know who that is. Yeah, it's a human rand. We were in Starfleet Academy together. 
It was always nice to see someone from the always nice to see someone from the Academy days. Class of twenty two sixty eight, right? Yes. I seem to recall an incident involving you, a jelly and flame rose, and the unfortunate activation of fire suppression systems during one of Professor Tavan's lectures. Very cold. Almost like Siberia winters. They made a pretty positive impression on Cadet Winston, however. If you're going into the lion's den, you'll need a medical officer. I'm going to offer you some advice. Don't be afraid to listen to the advice of your CMO, especially when it's followed by the, word, by the words doctor's orders. In my experience, officers in command branch tend to get hearing problems in such circumstances. I will keep that in mind, doctor. I know it feels like this isn't the first time I've given some order. Giving you some order. You know about that? Can't say, I cannot say that, Eddie. Sorry. Hmm. As a working colleague of mine might say. Fascinating. I'll let you get back to it, Lieutenant. Thanks for the help back there on Taurus. Taurus. Don't you mention it, Doctor. That was some fine work back there, friend. It's not every day one walks away from a brawl with the Klingons. You look familiar. If you don't mind me saying so. Have we met before? Why do I say that? I do not think so, sir. Ah, must be my imagination, then. You meet a lot of folks serving in Starfleet, to be sure. By the way, I heard you ran into the local wildlife on Taurus, too. Right on friendly devils, aren't they? I won't be forgetting those gigantic spears any time soon. Look me up sometime. We'll have a drink and share some caveman tales. Thank you, Lieutenant Commander. I could use a drink. Lieutenant O'Hara of the Starship Enterprise. Leave it to the Klingons to set a trap inside the Murasaki effect. I don't think they'll try anything like that again soon. Be careful though, Klingons tend to hold grudges. Your friend Captain Kor might try to settle a score with you down the road. Good advice, Lieutenant. If he wants to if he wants to rematch, I will be ready. Sulu! What's up, Sulu? Sulu! Hey the great bird of the galaxy, bless your planet. Oh, I know who you're talking about. I need you at the helm during the fight with the Klingons. Best in fine flying. Keep it up and you might get the chance to helm a constitution class. From what I've seen, you're up for the challenge. Thank you, Lieutenant. I hope I will get the chance. Thanks for coming. I have some good news to share. First off, Fleet promoted me to Admiral. I'll be working with Deep Space Command on several exploration initiatives there. Our ship's going to need a new captain. I've talked it over with Command, and they agree with my recommendation. You. Congratulations, my friend. I know the ship will be in good hands once I'm away. Don't think you've gotten rid of me, though. I plan on keeping you plenty busy out there. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Every generation, Starfleet officers hear the call of duty. Hidden dangers lurk in space, and the threat of Klingon attack has made even the most stout-hearted reconsider their choice to travel throughout the stars. A last-ditch effort to find a common ground could end this conflict, but there are many who oppose peace. If the Federation is to be saved from chaos, new officers will need to take up the task of restoring peace. Live long and prosper, Lieutenant. Congratulations, Lieutenant. For the skills. Capacity. Ground. Capacity is nice. Okay. 
so. Way I go, apparently. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yes, might as well. Do, 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 do. Need to modify this. Switch to Kinder Pioneer. I actually need to be using Pioneer, so. All the other people on my ship, I mean, seem to be using Pioneer. So why not? Yes, this seems acceptable. You say. Hmm. Yeah, see. Okay. Hmm. What do you do? Push up some training. You are grand equipment, don't care. Fair river positions, don't care. Uh, shipyard, here we go. There are things that I can do for that. So equipment. Customize. Customize ship. There we go. Customize ship, yes. It's so pretty! Okay. Let's see. Um, that's not what I'm looking for. Your science ship. Let's go to Kilo for everything, man. That's, that's kind of cool, you know. Okay. I can, that's, I can mess with that. Yeah. That's kind of cool looking. What do you think? How about that? Changes. Okay. Now we're good. Nothing else is required. Except setting this up.
to get it out of my inventory. Can I do? Can I do anything? Oh, that'd be cool. A walker class? That'd be nice. Not gonna lie. I do not have enough for a walker class, however. So, moving right along. Um. As a frozen. Wait, was that where I need to go? Was over here in the corner or somewhere? Where is this? Like, oh, what the heck? Okay. I have some new orders for you. I've outlined important people you should talk to while visiting Earth's space dock. <laughs> You're not gonna get anything and paid for that? <laughs> Alright. I got you. I got you, fam. I claim. <laughs> what did I claim? What did I claim? Um, okay, sure. I know that being a starship captain is a big responsibility. I believe you're up to the task. If you feel that your ship is ready for its next mission, I can give you new orders. Stay safe out there. You have just earned your first skill points. Click here to learn more. Ever hear of Edron IV? Jim Kirk got into a tussle with a Gorn there and barely lived to tell the tale. Both the Gorn and the Federation have teams there now. I'd like you to back our people up in case the Gorn decide to engage in a little cowboy diplomacy. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll do it. Stay safe out there. Hmm? Okay, sure. All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for today. I should kind of enjoy this, so... I will get back into it sometime soon, and I hope you can watch further then. And it looks like we're going to go deal Tangle with some Gorn. So, for now, as always, peace, love, and keep being awesome. Oh.